Hello, ladies, gents, and never-ending human shields. Today, we go to the future to check out Pilot Quest. Excuse me, excuse me, I was in the middle of the introduction. Bring me back to the thing. What is Pilot Quest? It is an adventure game. The Campanella has crashed. Fix it by harvesting resources and exploring the wild zone. Use the clock. This game use the clock features of the LX3 to generate resources even when the game was closed. I assume that's going to be a long-term video game like all the other. When it, you're calling it Quest, it immediately puts into my mind that it's going to be a really long JRPG kind of thing. One day, Pilot was driving around in space, just going to his Aunt Mima for some delicious empanadas when a random evil asteroid crashed upon the Campanella threw him into the draconic world of nightmares and here is Pilot on his quest buttons I throw yo-yos and D interacts alright why you had to say oh, you can't call me tiramisu are you coffee flavored yeah, that's it? Die! <laughs> okay, maybe try talking to me instead. No! But all you had to say is your name. I hate you immediately. What are you, Slugman? Slord! <laughs> that is such a great name for a Slugman. That could not be more on point. Slard is my name. If you want to survive the wild zone, you'll need some meat. I got plenty of meat between my legs, buddy. Yes, give me meat. Get some meat and I'll let you pass. All right, okay. This seems like a safe crystal. There's nothing here. The moon crystal spins hypnotically. Okay, it's not a safe crystal. You just smash it. Smash the crystal with my yo-yo. Excellent, this pleases me greatly. I love to visit violence against everything that stands in my way. It's just infinite currency, whatever the hell this is. Uh, does it ever break? Is this the whole game? Is this, is this like a cookie clicker kind of thing? Am I about... Ooh. Oh, a message. Just a message. My bad, my bad. I had to take care of the fridge delivery. 15 years of service, that fridge. And it finally crapped out. Well, it was just really run down and gross. So we were like, fine, fine. We won't squeeze any more years out of this one. Oh no, my crystals are disappearing. So is this, the entire game is this? I will be satisfied with that. I would like to create crystals and then create more crystals and end up taking over the universe in a crystal making factory. Die! No, yo, you're generating quite a bit of force. Hello, I am Dr. Lumen. Would you like to see our current research projects? Sure, let me see what you're working on. Apparently, you just need to smash the crystal enough times to get a metal yo-yo you can also get fertilizer for goop and then big silos for pocket lint amazing all right so clearly we have no currency enough but not enough currency that is the way to make that sentence well you are the research machine machine looks like it's missing a gear destroy it all right well my violent tendencies are not working out this looks like maybe spots, ah, build a smart workbench for five ingots. You're supposed, you, they're like slots to build things. This is like a don't, is this a don't starve type of deal? I don't know. Build a house for five ingots. I see, all right, all right, all right. I'm seeing the purpose. I'm Parvina, the huntress. I need a moon ingot to repair my destroyed shack. You idiot, don't you see I just crashed from outer space? I have no idea what you're even talking about. I'm the gamma tree. If you give me 10 moon drops, I can make a seed for you. I see, please return, you'd like a seed. I have no ingots, I got nothing. I need meat, that is what I need. And in order to get meat, I need to get a metal ingot to destroy these idiots. That is the way that I'm supposed to do it, right? You get the metal yo-yo, that way you have enough killing power to kill all the other NPCs and you give it to Slugma or whatever her, his or her name is. Give me these crystals, they, they belong to me. Well, I'm going to harvest all these crystals, it's very important, it's my life mission now. What do you want, Slugma? 
Slard. <laughs> what an awesome name. <laughs> Slard is the best slug name I've ever seen. I think Slugma, though, is actually quite decent. My, I, I do say so myself. Anyway, all we need is 150. And we just need to spam this yo-yo on this crystal just long enough to get ourselves that currency. So far, Pilot Quest, not the most impressive start. But uh, I can see how I bet it gets really addictive to basically keep building the base, get yourself resources. Apparently, if you just leave and come back, things get harvested on their own, MMO style. I am going to join the CCP, get myself a, a ton of resources. Uh, let me let me see it. Let me see it. Yes, I want this metal yo-yo. Sorry, you don't have enough resources. Excuse me, I have 150. Oh, that's not the same thing. Those are ingots. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I have uh, all that work I did is for nothing. So I need meat. I uh, I guess I need to find the spot where you can use the crystals. Yes, you need 847 more moon drops. I am not hitting this thing a thousand times. I am not. I'm not gonna do that. So, uh, yes, I would love to, but I have no ingots. But freaking Slarma is not letting me through. Moon ingot? I refuse to hit this crystal a thousand times. Get some meat. Okay. Oh, maybe, maybe the Campanella will have resources inside. Your poor Campanella is broken. You need to find the parts lost in the crash. Destroy the damn thing! No, it, does, it yields nothing. You cannot convince me. Literally cannot convince me. You will be unable to present enough evidence to tell me that I'm supposed to hit this crystal 1,000 times to get one ingot. There is some kind of trickery involved, and I'm going to find it. Give me a minute. Ah, okay. All right. We do have a way to invest these moon drops. I didn't realize that's what they were. They're just freaking crystal fragments. Thank you. Here's your seed. So he gives you seeds. Uh, create moon drops. Create. Oh, you actually need 40, huh? All right. So it's like an incremental, incremental type of thing, type of video game, which I can totally get behind. Indeed, we are making paper paper clips. This is just the silly, tedious starting point, and you end up with an insane pile of resources by the time you're done. What a what an innovative uh, thing. This if a game like this had come out in 1989, everybody would have been so over it, so all over it. Maybe no, maybe it would be way ahead of its time, and people would be like, "What is this piece of crap? All you do is just hit with." a crystal with a yo-yo this makes no sense whatsoever but no you need to understand that it is a investment scheme so you are smashing a crystal with a yo-yo you are doing that but you know there's more to it than that you are creating investments i am quite the fun they're kind of a guilty pleasure i don't go out of my way to find them but when i find them i fall into them head first incremental games where you start with a piece of trash and you end up with a massive pile of resources and uh, you just you know watch number go up that's the entirety of the gameplay sometimes i'll start the, you know you'll see you'll see soon what i'm talking about when it comes out uh, when i publish it i figure i will do it once elden ring was done it's already completely finished by the entire playthrough it's like five videos of the whole thing. Anyway, we are just harvesting resources and we just need to... Oh, shut up! <laughs> You're interfering in the process of crystal gathering. Anyway, what I'm going to do is make a farm and I'll see you in a... Oh! It actually has a chance to drop ingots. Wow, I was about to say I'm going to keep building my farm and we're going to come back a little bit later, but I don't have to. I don't have to. Give me more seeds and now we're going to use this ingot for something. Give me another seed. You need more? How many? 600! <laughs> That's so much. Too freaking much. But for the price of one ingot, I think I'm able to build something here. One thousand moon drops into a moon ingot. 
There was something that only required one. Uh, or am I tripping balls right now? This one requires five. Uh, maybe she required just one? The Huntress? A Moon Inga. There you are. Hey, thank you, stranger. I can hunt again. Here's a free meat for helping me. Wow. I have a pile of meat. Do you let me go into the adventure zone? Slard is my name. Yeah. That meat will last forever. Come back before it rides out. <laughs> All right. Well, the whole point is letting my beautiful seeds grow and sprout into more crystals. So let's get out of here. I see. For how many meats you spend, there's nothing here. You get time out into the adventure zone. Yo-yo. Destroy the scorpion for crystals. I mean, this is not worth the money. This is not worth what I invested to get here. Oh, getting hit takes time away. I see. Not worth what I invested to get here. We need better resources. Crystals are ass. We want ingots. We want resources. Do not kill the scorpions. They are low tier trash. We need to actually get some treasure chests. I mean, these are okay. Uh, how do I get into the forest? The bee is traversing the forest and I am not in the forest. Wonder if they, these guys have a chance to drop something decent. No, it's just more crystals, more worthless trash. Not interested. Give me to the advanced zone where we can harvest. Well, <laughs> or I can just get murdered. You push yourself too hard again, didn't you? I hope you take better care of yourself in the future. Well, all right. Unfortunately, you lost everything you had collected in the wild zone. Your goma plants made 102 moon drops since your last visit. All right. Do I get free meat again? Sorry, I'm currently out of meat. Please come back later. You scum, you piece of trash, you garbage. Tiramisu. The Borgs are nomadic space pirates from the planet Borg. <laughs> Thank you for this uh, edifying bit of information. I appreciate that. So... We don't have enough to get more seeds. We don't have enough to get more meat. I am stuck now just using my yo-yo to get crystals while we wait for all these resources to pay off. Understanding has been achieved of the pilot quest. And while the start is a little too tedious, there's no way I should be hitting this damn crystal with my yo-yo for so many times. There should be a little bit more action. Maybe I should have been so damn incompetent in the quest land. That would have been, uh, that would help out quite a bit. I'm going to invest in my pilot future and I'll see you on the other side. The drop chance of this ingots is abysmal unless you only get one. But I have hit this crystal a bajillion times. I need more. I need more crystals. Yes, plant another seed. You will be tempted to just convert them into more, more ingots, but no. You want the increment. You want the way to create even more stuff. What do you need for this one? 50 ingots. Are you insane? Five ingots to build something there. Uh, how about the house? Five ingots. I'm gonna get there, baby. She automatically generates meat. Give it to me. Want to buy some delicious meat for 500 Moondrop? Absolutely outrageous. Outrageous prices over here. You scum lords, what kind of what kind of racket do you have going on? Lord is my name, you want to survive, blah, 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 blah. Let's just get out of here. Back into the adventure zone. Let's maybe not touch the mushrooms this time around. I need to find ingot drops. That is what I need. It matters not killing these damn scorpions. <laughs> now I'm... I am extremely wary of encountering scorpions because I know the price and the price is having to go back. You probably shoot, right? Yeah, yeah you have a freaking gun. You can't even shoot di diagonally this yo-yo. It is absolute trash. Does this hurt? No, it doesn't. It's just uh, lava that does nothing to me. All right, we continue exploring. In the pilot quest, you do shoot, all right. You were just kind of stupid. Uh, excuse me, you barely touched my anus. How can you be? But, hey, they do drop me, but you don't. You don't really get it immediately. What the? What the? 
What is this abomination? Die! Oh yeah, of course you spit. You piece of trash. Scum face. Do I need to go back? I do need to go back. I didn't know that. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks ass. Oh. At least we got a pile of crystals. And we just gotta wait. I mean, clearly this game is designed to... Okay, you got a bunch of resources going. Now it's time for closing the game, letting the resources build. And you can come back later after you beat uh, Mini and Max. And you'll have 7,000 crystals waiting for you. That is the intense, right? This Blorba is so uh, infuriating to be hanging around the damn crystal all the time and trying to harvest resources and you're like, oh, you talk to me next time. How about you step away from me, you stinky psycho? How about you allow me to continue harvesting these crystals without coming anywhere close? Anyway, look, I refuse to just come back. That is not going to happen. So I'm going to be a total idiot and a stubborn buffoon and spend my time smashing this damn crystal, all right? Don't judge me! Man, if there ever was a second monitor game, this is it. <laughs> Pilot Quest, most second monitor game of all time, which is to say, have a video going on a second monitor while you play it. All right, buddy. Now that I know how it works, we're going to actually hunt down some filthy scorpions and uh, harvest them for meat. Inga drops! Alright, so I was just getting unlucky, it's all. It's all that was happening there. What is going on? Suddenly the ingots are forever for me. Let me go a little bit further up. We have a, a shooty boy. We don't want to be shot in the head by this disgusting laser-wielding mole man. Ah, ah, 30 seconds. Uh, I am ready. I'm ready to go back. Four ingots is all I ever wanted. No! No! Oh, oh, oh. I leave! I leave now! <laughs> quick! Quick, Mr. Pilot Idiot! Let's get out of here! I need to go back with my four ingots! Oh, you return safely from the wild zone. You keep everything you collected. Your Goma plants made 96 moon garbage. Alright, five ingots for me. Mm-mm-mm, where to spend them? Build a house. Build a smoke workbench. Build a resource silo for 50, bruh. I guess a house it is. I, I want meat. I think hopefully the house will give me meat. That is what I'm hoping for. Build it. You build the house. A friendly alien shows up and claims it for their home. You better be here to work, buddy, or you're evicted post haste. Build a house. No. He's just whistling. I want to build a house. I want to harass this guy for rent money. Continue building for 20 ingots. If you build a house, someone may come and live in it, but, but it's not something I care about, though. <laughs> Destroy this damn house! Bringing down my investment. Your friend whistles a cheerful tune. It's quite loud. My investment was completely worthless. My beautiful ingots have been wasted. What is the problem? What is the deal? <laughs> what are you? What good are you? you piece of crap! Back at, back at the Crystal Strike farm, I will make Pilot fulfill this quest, even if I perish in the attempt. Oh, oh, an ingot! As I strike this crystal forever and ever until the end of time, I am struck by the thought that this game is a Ubisoft game. All that is missing is the microtransactions. You just need it, like right now, a pop-up right in the middle of your screen saying, you can speed up this process with, if you spend five gems, uh, conveniently available in the Ubisoft store, you can get 5,000 crystals for the f fair, fair price of 10 gems, a bundle of 50 ingots and 100 goop will be yours. That's all that pilot quest is, is missing. This may be a hot take. I don't know what the meta is in U450. I don't know if we're all glazing it or not. I don't know. 
maybe an unpopular opinion, when you design your game not to be played, that you have to leave it and then come back later, the game is not very good. <laughs> that, that mechanic is not an enticing, super fun mechanic. It is an anti-fun mechanic. Any, I understand, like, I get what you're trying to do here. I get what you're trying to do. You accomplished it. You have successfully dissuaded me from wanting to play more of it. <laughs> uh, Anna, that's uh, something that you want to induce in your player. Something that, hey, let's design this game so that it re literally forces you to close it up and come back to it. I don't know, bud. I don't know if that is something that that is the greatest design choice of all time. Out of my way, you stupid mohawk chicken looking son of a bitch. I am busy striking this crystal for extremely rare ingot drops. Because all the fun is being gatekept by this lazy ass trash huntress that only gets a piece of meat every full moon. What the freaking hell? Get me back to the quest arena. We're going to not be so damn incompetent against the laser boys. In fact, we're just, just going to find every damn scorpion and we're going to destroy the damn scorpions and we're never going to do anything again other than kill scorpions. Give me that meat. Piece of garbage. Didn't I get to keep two meats? No, no, it was ingot. So I was like, didn't I grab meat in the last one? There was no meat. There was only ingot. So clearly we want to actually hunt down... Holy crap, man, you suck ass. Uh, hunt down every damn scorpion because they are the trivial enemies and they give you the good stuff. And as long as you get a meat drop, maybe it's something that you should be like, I got a meat drop, immediately go back and respawn the scorpions. Maybe that should be the the policy. And that's the thing, it's like, oh, what, what do you have to say? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. No, it's just a, a tree with an eyeball. What you wanted to do. We grabbed a piece of meat. We grabbed two ingots. It's time to go back and we're going to go back immediately into this place and hopefully we can get a loot. And that's the thing, it's like, there are rewarding mechanics in this game. It is so brutally head ba held back by the price of going back and having fun. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Kind of dumb. Anyway, we want... Let's convert one more ingot. Yes, give me that. Give me that, it belongs to me now. And I suppose we'll build another house? Do you provide anything of worth? You're trash. How about... Oh, maybe you need to provide them a workbench. You ha still have, have a small friend, maybe they can use it. Your friend was not cheap for two. Get to work! Yes. He's not my friend, he's my employee. We're all a family though. You're my elite employee. A friend is not working at the workbench. He has every responsibility. My success is on his shoulders. We have finally attained the status of, of pleasant gameplay as opposed to just pain because now I get my meat to go out there hopefully these scorpions can drop some meat no what is this garbage I don't care about your silly ass moon drops they're they're absolute ass bruh come on man we need scorpion meat <laughs> scorpions are where it's at ah! I just get too close I get too damn excited that is 30 seconds Oh, I can't handle this. It's super not worth going back. You can only hit it them once and then they barf. Ah! ah I was tunnel visioning on the scum lord in the pond. But it's okay because uh, now this man has done something, right? No, no breaks. He's not my friend. He's my slave. Oh, my utter failure at engaging with the most trivial encounters that you could possibly imagine has once more rendered me into a lowly crystal miner. Here I am, just striking the crystal once more for the possibility of an ingot. It's just better, like, you don't really want to harvest all the things that drop. Just stand still and keep striking it because maybe an ingot will drop. That is the policy that I've been keeping because it's kind of silly to walk around without striking the damn thing. Give me meat, please. Your meat is never showing up. If you strike from this angle, you can see when the meat spawns. All right, more fun has been allowed in Pilot Quest. Let's go over here. 
I'll give myself some meat, please. Please, I need it. I need it right now. Let's maybe not get so close to the enemies. That would be great if I could not be utterly incompetent at this entire this entire endeavor. We can maybe attack from afar. Be very careful with our scorpion harvesting. It is super not worth it to even go back when you just have crystals. What is even that? A coin! Okay, I'm pleased with... Ah! You piece of garbage, how dare you? <laughs> well, we hit that thing a couple times. Hey! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I was so excited to get myself some stuff in jars. It's just bits, though. It's just trash. This is so soul crushing. <laughs> Pilot Quest! The most soul crushing game in all of the collection. I get it. I get it. I'm supposed to close it and then come back at a later time. I don't care. I just want to play the video game. I don't want to close it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Drop meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get me out of here. Quick, pilot. Get out of this damn adventure land so you can come back and be fully hooked on the gameplay loop as opposed to just standing in camp and striking the same crystal over and over hoping for a meat spawn. Oh yeah, return safely. What is this? This is new. The bat holds one Zoldnack to spend in the wild zone. Try not to lose it. I see they are currency to spend outside. Well, now that we have meat, we go back. Go back, harvest the scorpions. It's all a matter of getting those those resource drops out of these filth. And you can get super lucky, get two ingots, two pieces of meat from the scorpions, or you can get completely boned, get a pile of trash like this. Does not please me in the slightest. Let's go down this way. Uh, up there, there were some absolutely nasty Shooty dwarves, shooty goblins. Another coin that is totally worthless so far. Please, please, I beg you. <laughs> Drop me some meat, I need meat. Otherwise I am forever lost in this place. This is a uh, place I've already been. Ah, hunt down the damn Scorpius. Oh yeah, double trouble here. Murder them all. What is this garbage? <laughs> <laughs> this is not right. Get out of here. There's nothing here. I can't. I can't go through. This is not right. <laughs> I can't traverse the the forest. But maybe die. <laughs> okay. Well, our trip was totally worth it. Thanks to this ingot. Wow. Uh, we only have 50 seconds. I need to encounter more pathetic garbage to harvest their blood. Hello, scorpion. You touched the scorpion, you idiot. I don't have time to get back. Everything is lost. No, <laughs> what a waste. No, it's over. It's over. Look at all that stuff. Do you even lose the ingots you're carrying from the... Okay, no, no. The ingots you're carrying from here, they're still here. <sighs> Pilot <laughs> Quest, you make yourself really hard to love. I will put you away and I will come back at a later date. I may record it or not. You get the entire gameplay loop, don't you? You have seen it. What atrocious thing to do to your player to make a game so tedious that the very design wants you to close it up and come back later. Absolutely, I, I don't want to do it out of spite. 